itself off mute. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hey. Bon après-midi. Hello. Uh, wait, I learned it. Gude nam midai? No. Gude nam midai. Gude nam and etc. <laughs> um, I'll, like, by the last session Oops, today, yeah. I'm going to be on it because it'll still be afternoon then, so I don't have to learn a new thing. Um, okay, welcome to the uh, second part of today's mainstream of tracks. Uh, we've got a double bill of slightly odd stuff, which is going to be great. <laughs> You're right, we're being called slightly odd, right? Yeah, all right. Uh, these lovely, well, not this one. Oh, no. Um, these lovely uh, people here uh, hey, represent impressed. Sock Pop. <laughs> who are a video games collective, collective from... Holland. 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 I was, Netherlands. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether to say Netherlands or Holland. Yeah, the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The Kingdom of the Netherlands. Um, and we have with us... I'm taking a Aaron, Simon, and Ruben. Yeah, we're missing, we're missing Tom. And they're missing Tom, who apparently is asleep. Well, he died to excessive partying yesterday. <laughs> so we have three quarters of the brilliant collective sock pop. Much of their work you will have hopefully seen in the art expo on the top floor of Het Boss, which I hope you've all discovered and found as delightful as I did. Uh, and it, this uh, little panel-ish thing is going to be curated by my good friend uh, Patrick Ash, who is the non-Dutch looking <laughs> I'm, I'm the old person on the stage. 21 year old on the stage. Ooh, um, so I'm going to leave you in Pat's capable hands. Big round bit. of applause for Pat and Top Pop. Yeah, Pat. <laughs> give it up for you silly boys. So, yeah, uh, guess where to start? Introduction slash outline on this. They, I, <laughs> I only got asked to do this last night when we were all quite drunk. I think in the middle of like C418's set, if you saw that, there was probably some squatting and stuff. Yeah. There'll probably be some squatting later. Uh, so yeah, you're Sock Pop, a video game boy band and full-time squad, I believe, is how you described. Yeah, definitely. Well, well like a, apparently not full-time because we're missing Tom now. Yeah, he's not willing to put the effort into the squad. <laughs> well, when you're dead, you can't really do that. No, pull one out for Tom. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's have a, a moment of silence for Tom. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's enough. He wasn't that loved, apparently. <laughs> oh, so my mic keeps popping up on my ear. It's very annoying. Yeah. Mics, exciting. Uh, so yeah, you're Dutch. You're all quite young. Like you're all students, saying on you apart from you. You, you no, still? I'm a student. He, no, he's not a student anymore. Aaron, um, I'm 24, and I'm like the old guy in sock pop. Ruben is 19. He's very yeah. young. Give <laughs> <laughs> up for the young people. <laughs> so, let's go into this. I don't know why you put the Q&A at the start of your, your lineup of things we're going to talk about. Has anyone in the audience got questions? No. So, who are Sock Pop? We've answered that. What do you do? Um, what does oh, Sock Pop do? Yeah, well, we make, we make a lot of... Um, games, like this game, this is a game um, Ruben is making now, it's called Kamer, it means room, Nice. as you can see it's a room, you can pick up clocks, you, yeah you can pick up stuff, um, it's a really fun room, <laughs> it looks it, is that a coffee machine on the floor, yeah where do you put your coffee machine, on the bed, in my kitchen, what, oh okay Whoa, so we left the room, that's not a room, <laughs> I was missold this game. <laughs> so this this game is about um, daydreaming and having. Um, I want to say. Yeah, let, oh, yeah, yeah, you want to yeah, talk, yeah, talk about it? It's his game. Yeah. So hi everyone. This is uh, this is Kamer. This is my game. Uh, I started working on it uh, last Ludum there, um, and it's just about like. Someone who's, who's come home from work or travel, and uh, it's just about like relaxing in your room and letting your mind drift off. And so, like when you when you walk out of the room, you like literally start to enter like a dream world. And then you have right now you have like three thought paths you can follow. This is one, um, and you can hear it right now. But 
uh, at the end of each one there's like a like a sound and it's like the feeling that you're trying to you're trying to like the place the sound that you hear in real life in your dream and and actually if he walks away now then you'll see that you'll hear like a gurgling sound of like a well but it turns out it's like the it's a it's the coffee going up so I think like for me this is um I think it 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 kind of resembles <laughs> yeah you can drop it <coughs> yeah that's, okay that sucks <laughs> oops <laughs> so right now it's pretty basic basic but I think it's a good framework for like um exploring more dream mechanics like uh inspiration or remembering or like uh, lucid dreaming so I mm. wanted to take this further but yeah yeah let's come So I think uh, this game sort of reflects sock pop stuff very well, as in it has like a lot of like procedural animations and um, uh, it's like super chill and that's something we try to go for for a lot of our games. Just like have a chill space you can like hang around in, and then and then we go from there and and see what that sort of like what kind of emotions that ev evokes. Um, just like super playful mess around in a cool place kind of games. That's what we're interested in, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, I, one of my things I always love about like all your games that you will make is the walk cycles on all the characters. <laughs> like, because it's all actually procedural. Yeah. It's just like like the legs on this guy and the legs oops, yeah. sorry, on like Digital Bird Playground and things. It's just Tom's game. It's mm -hmm. just... Could watch those characters walk around for hours. Yeah. <laughs> just like, eep, eep, eep. And when and when like the game breaks a bit because it might be broken, like <laughs> and the legs get all messed up, but it's just yeah. like really silly. It's amazing. Right. Right. Yeah. And so yeah, that's something we spend a lot of time on in our, all of our games. Like, well, what, exactly. like yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like when we like do game jams because we do a lot of game jams. Then that's the stuff we work on most. And then halfway through, we end up with like, hey, this is like a cool walk cycle. Uh, yeah. what, do, what do I do now? <laughs> now now um, I need to make the rest of the game. This character is yeah. great. Yeah, so, but, uh, so yeah. And I, I, I still think that's like a cool way to make games because like, yeah. if it's fun to walk around, then a lot of things in the game will be, will be yeah. fun. Yeah, well, it's like all your games, I think that element of just being in the space is fun and chill and playful. And so like... Anything you build on top of, like, you know, going and cracking open a big egg. Yeah. It just adds to that element. It's, a lot of people, like, don't even realize you can walk out of the room and they just, like, oh, this is a cool room. I can, okay, <laughs> maybe I can make some coffee. Yeah, I'll just and move, I'll just oh, move, that's a cool move my game. clock about a bit. Yeah. That's it. That's my game. <laughs> yeah. So, what I want to do is, like, add, a, add, like, even a deeper layer so that, like, uh, some people don't even get out of the room and some people do and some people, like, really get that you're daydreaming and then. I'd be like, oh, what if I move this around in the real world and let's see what kind of implication that has on the dream world. And, and people will be like, ah, I got your, really got your game. I'm like, oh, did you get that third layer? You know. Yeah. But yeah, I think like uh, just like the, the vibes of things are really important for us. Like yeah. on game jazz, we spend like most of our time like making the main character and then we're like done. And we're like, oh, I'm not sure I'm going to make a game out of this, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like in a, like Burn Band, The Arms, like that game would be a, a tenth of as good as it is with, with, that, with those arms removed. Can Don't we show Burn Band? That. It's Thank like an Marlene. alien city stumbling around drunk game. I think someone's about to put it on. Yeah, it's also in the art expo. Mm -hmm. If you enter, it's like in yes. the big tent on the as, left as side. Karma. Yeah, as, yeah, Kama, yeah. Kama. it's like Kama. in the middle. Kama. It's in a mattress. Kama. It's super Kama. chill. Um, so yeah, we're going to play now, I guess. Unzip it. We're going to do some zip, unzipping. Unzip Have that. you paid for WinRAR? <laughs> you better not be illegally using software. It's not illegal if you click on the cross in the top right. Did you know that? <laughs> I think in the past year I made three games that had a silly walk cycle. I was like, yeah, and then I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good, though. Like, the ones in Lasso's that you made for Fantastic Arcade as well, they've got silly walk cycle, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, they? yeah, they do. Run it anyway. Right, right, right. Wee. <laughs> do it. Ride it anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, that seems like a good 
Put the graphics level on best. Put the graphics. <laughs> we, we have the best it's graphics. It's quite hard to see back from here. <laughs> um, do you guys want sound? Because I feel like if we just went into the settings on your laptop and made it put sound out through the desk, it might work. Yeah. Or do you, do you want to look at the okay settings of the laptop for a bit? <laughs> Let's just, go for, let's just go for okay. it. Yeah, we'll love love it. <coughs> yeah, so this burn band oh, no, is made by Tom. Because the way you guys work, like, do you mostly work on your own games or do you, like, collaborate with each other, help each other out? Um, okay, yeah, that's kind of interesting because, uh, like, from the outside, it's all fun. But we had some trouble figuring out how to do the whole collective stuff, right? Yeah. So it's, we even discussed, like, if one of us for some reason, excels, how are we gonna, how, how's the rest gonna cope? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just decided that from, from now on, from like the point onwards, um, in which we make sock, made sock pop, we, we, we decided that everything we made, we probably wouldn't have if we weren't together. Yeah. So that makes it really easy for us to, to share everything. Yeah, so even if someone didn't explicitly work on the game, like the collective, yeah, all four of you were involved in making it. Yeah, there's always an indirect uh, involvement, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because, because yeah, I've, I think. Oh. Yeah, because now like that's a really a way I guess our collective works is that we we just like uh, sit in a room together and then we talk about the stuff that we make uh, to each other and that like. Like normally, like most of us work solo on the games you see, mm -hmm. but then still all the ideas are are from everyone, and everybody's like, "Oh, you should maybe do it like that." So it's like really like a continuous feedback thing, yeah, yeah. which really helps, um, which really helps that I think. <coughs> Sorry, should have some water. Drink that water. <laughs> it's sparkling. I think what's sparkling yeah. water is the worst. Uh, you, uh, that's green tea. Oh no, that is your water. You should grab some water. But yeah, so right now we have <laughs> like no, it didn't work. Water chat. I was uh, uh <laughs> so right now we have a space at the at the HKU, which is like the Utrecht University of Arts, where where Diamond and Tom are studying. Uh, Ruben and I are not studying there, but we sit there all the time. It's pretty great. <laughs> um, and that's a really nice nice place. To, to like work together, but then soon you'll be graduating, and then yeah, well, well, yeah we need like a new <laughs> space to, get to a pay like, for an office. Yeah, <laughs> basically, um, and we're not sure what that's gonna be yet. Yeah, I th I think still think it would be like really cool if we get like a big garage, we can like skateboard inside. <laughs> Set up your pop punk yeah. garage band. Yeah, for sure. Because that's interesting as well. Is as you move from being students who have the freedom of the kind of university system to mess around and try things out and have a room to just do things in. You kind of are moving into like running Sock Pop as a company now. It's like a thing which in a way needs to start paying you money because like you've just released your first like commercial game on Steam, the Bamboo EP. Yeah. How's, so how's that transition been from kind of that freedom to kind of having to start thinking about how do we make this sustainable? So the so the, the last year was a lot of uh, experimentation and uh, like just making like dumb stuff and not finishing it. Uh, but like Diamond and Tom are going to be like graduated soon, and Adam's already graduated. So if we like right now we're we're like oh man, we really want to make it a make suck up a thing like to like as our job. But uh, mm. yeah. Just trying to make like make it happen, and that movie was kind of like a like a pilot for like if we release a release a commercial game, how will it go, and like what are the steps to take and stuff like that. Yeah. So it was a, it was kind of low profile, I think, um, but it was a good way for us to like measure like okay how like we have like the okay amount of Twitter followers, but how many people are actually gonna play yeah. our games. Um, you got you got a good GIF following on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, right. So we've been like, look out like GIF makers and stuff like that. Yeah, so we yeah. were also like, oh man, we really gotta really something. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, but um, like our big release is probably gonna be uh, uh, Digital Bear Playground. We're gonna mm. two. Yeah, this is like a remake. 
Oh yeah, so a remake of Digital Bear Playground. Um, and we're gonna work on that next and try to make some uh, make some cool games with some money maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is all about that money. Mm. <laughs> Gotta make bank. So like, yeah, Digital Bear Playground as well. I think it's one of the first times I really like knew what Sock Pop was. Like we we played I played Burn Band and we showed that at the Wild Rumpus party, like 2014? Yeah, yeah, it must have been 2014 because I think that was that. No, 2015, wasn't it? Oh, no, 2015. Yeah, yeah, 2015. And we, yeah, and we made big, silly foam hands. But, like, <laughs> we knew that as a game by Tom. Uh, and then when we showed Digital Bird Playground at Mild Rumpus last year, that was when, like, I think I became aware of you guys as a collective. And, yeah, I don't really know where I was going with that. But it's interesting <laughs> yeah. that, that, like coming to a group via one person's work. So, like, I kind of get Tom's aesthetic mm -hmm. in a lot of ways and then kind of seeing the shared, like, connections. Yeah, that's, like, definitely one of the reasons why we wanted to become a collective, just for visibility. Because it's a lot easier as, like, a solo... It's pretty hard as a solo game maker to just um, just promote yourself and your work. And in a way, then Sock Pop, like, sort of becomes a label for, like, oh, this is what we stand for and this like what kind of games we like to make so if you see a sock pop game you're like oh, i don't know no, i'm not sure who made it but yeah. um it like it, it will have a certain style at this moment uh, it might change in the future that style but um, mm. yeah i think that kind of shared aesthetic between collectives is also really interesting in terms of like cause like with the other few, few collectives that are around them, like Klondike and that, you quite often can see a game by them and a game by Sock Pop, and you can tell, oh, that's those guys. And that kind of comes from that kind of really close-knit yeah. yeah. collaboration. Silly what? Silly, silly legs. legs. <laughs> you see some silly legs in a game. See some wonky, broken physics legs can, can we playing show a Sock Pop game. <laughs> can we show an unreleased, like, uh, Sock Pop game that, that we just made? Yeah, go for it. It's, it's, it's called Oh Crab. Changing. Can we get an Oh Crab? It's the, yeah. So we, we made a game for Global Game Jam, um, <coughs> yeah, yeah. which we never released because it's... Uh, it's terrible. Yeah. It's, it's one of the weirdest things we made. Yeah, that, yeah. that the one above that. Yeah, yeah, screenshot, GDJ. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So it's called... Uh, Can I maybe just turn off the other games because my laptop will be... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn off the other games? Because <laughs> Aaron's laptop is, is really bad. Uh, Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> it's kind of... mm. Okay, so this <laughs> this game which we're going to show is uh, actually a, a sitcom, uh, a Vietnamese sitcom uh, set in America, and there's a there's Japanese subtitles for uh, people who who don't speak Vietnamese. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, there's it's a it's about. We got the lights on actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so it's a it's about like people building sandcastles. Well, we were gonna make a game where you where you build a sandcastle and then defend it against the like the the waves. I mean, uh, but then we got bored, so we made it into a a sitcom. And so, so it's all there's all like like subtitles, um, yeah. But it doesn't really really say anything, except there's there's just like words. It works pretty well. Okay. Oops. Want to build a side castle? Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh. So normally there's a live audience track. It's not here right now because there's no sound. So let's try to do that together. Is it working? Seems my it's break. lost its connection. Uh, okay. uh, maybe we should Try to connect again. Oh, I did. 
Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so you're... Yeah, you're, you're, you want to tell? Yeah, what are you? So you're like, a you're fish. not a hot dog. You're a fish. <laughs> you're a sweetwater fish. Sweetwater fish. Um, so the game's called Oh Crap, Not Again. Um, and uh, <laughs> he hates crabs. And then there's like massive crabs coming from the from the from the from the from the ocean, but watch out for the water though, because you're a sweetwater fish, so you can't go into the ocean. Um, so you build like these barriers. Oh, freshwater. Yeah, sorry. Um, so you build these barriers, and then the crabs will like try to steal your barriers and like attack you. And there's like. Jellyfish, <laughs> and oh yeah, they also like steal your caps and stuff. So you try to uh, keep the cap. So yeah, like, this game is definitely like one of those games where we're like, oh, let's make like cool walk cycles and like cool water, <laughs> and then let's see what comes out of it. Um, and also like there's like not really an AI, um, like they just sort of walk. Oh, uh, check out that crab at the top. Yeah, so yeah, there's, a, there's hermit crabs and they s try to steal your sandcastle. So they like take off their shell and like go into your sandcastle and walk around. Like um, that guy. Yeah, that guy. So watch out for that guy because he's going to steal your house. Wait, is he going to do that? Oh, he's scared. Yeah, he's scared. And it's like, because we didn't really have time to like oh. not make it. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> So it's like kind of a mess, but it's and like this is like a very common theme for our games, is where people are like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm <laughs> having fun. And this game was like totally that, where like, like people don't get the Japanese subtitles, they don't get why you play, why build you a sandcastle, why you're a fish on this on the, on the <coughs> beach, but like for some reason people still have fun, which is always interesting to see. It like it does take like a specific kind of person, like not everyone just enjoys yeah. it, it feel like. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, it's like, like, mo like most of our games, we just make it and we'll think, like, think it's really clear, but uh, people will play it and just be like, oh, I, I don't understand. I'm, I don't get this. Yeah. So yeah. I guess we gotta also work on that because that's, well, that's kind I, of a problem. I think there's also some people that will never get it, you know, like, like the simple joy of a duck getting on a bike and the little bell ringing in Digital Bird Playground. Yeah. There are people who will always just go, well, that's not funny. Yeah. And yeah. they're dead inside, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> like, that little bell ring is just perfect. Yeah. So good. And if you don't love it, you're, you're a monster. Maybe you talk about I, was, I was just about to suggest that. Cool. Because <laughs> it's next on the list, I guess. So, yeah, the Art Expo that's here. Uh, Do you want to talk about that, the process of making it? What, what, what was it? Yeah, it was, what did you do? Well, yeah, it was really weird because... Um, uh, we did that with Keita Takahashi, mm. who is from the games from Katamari. Yeah, Katamari like, Damacy, Nobi yeah, Nobi Boy. Nobi Nobi Boy. He's currently making Watam. Yeah, so we were Skyping with and him. he's also a very silly man like you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess so, but he's Jap he speaks Japanese and we don't. <laughs> so that was kind of hard. I mean, <laughs> this sounds like the escapades of very silly men doing... A Skype where you can't share a common language, really. Yeah, yeah. You just draw a bunch of stuff and hold it in front of the camera, and you go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so the idea came up to make a maze, and have like this idea where you you walk around, and like, oh, cool, a maze. You walk around the corner, and then there's someone with a box on his head, playing a game, like staring straight at you. You're like, what? Um, that seemed really fun. And then the other thing, okay, so with this game, um, it, it, I think Ruben already told this, um, at first was just a survival game, and then we got bored of it, so what we did was sit inside our blanket fort and just, like, have, have fun talking yeah. about it, and, like, wouldn't it be cool if there's, if it's actually a Seinfeld sitcom and it went like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> really cheesy music and yeah. audience reactions. Yeah, so, and then that's, that's, so that's how we got our, our fun back into making the game. It's, so th I think the blanket for it was really important because it, um, it got our creativity back or something. <laughs> 
it's a very important thing a blanket fort. Yeah, right. Like, oh, we, we don't have one in our office, and we've never been creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so the Art Expo kind of is that blanket fort, except bigger. Mm. So it's a visualization of how we make games. And like, we're, we're also very chaotic in our, in our structure, in our work progress. Um, that's, that's like super hard for us to, to grasp that and make a planning. So that's also the same thing, right? You're walking in a maze, you don't really know what you're doing, then you yeah, you've walk no around idea the corner. Yeah, will be around the corner. Yeah, but it's, it might be really cool. And uh, there's like this um, mosquito prevention thing. Oh, How, yeah, what do you call that? The mosquito net type. Mos yeah, the thing. mosquito net. And, and people sit inside there and um, they make up their own games with, the, with these balls. Like, uh, let's see. Well, they don't at the moment. No. <laughs> you've got the ball. <laughs> we took all the balls. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, so but that's also like the same thing, right? You you make up your own your own game inside the space, and that's yeah. the, most of our games are are these kind of spaces that we create, and people um, <coughs> make their own rules and games in, inside mm. them. Yeah, definitely. Like the kind of free form nature of a lot oh. of your stuff of just making a cool space. That yeah, has some interactions, mm -hmm. but it's not. You can't fail at like a sock pop game often. Like, they are just... No, no, definitely. And it's, it's the most of the things we make is about, uh, about playing, like, in, in a really pure form. I think that's really good for people to, to play together. Yeah. yeah. Aaron. Cool. Yeah, and then so some of the things that are in the, in the expo are, like, a bit playful, but, like, also in a bit, not really in a forced way, but, like, definitely encouraging people to play. Like, um, we had, uh, at some point during our brainstorm sessions, Gaeta said, like, oh, what if there's, like, a game you play through binoculars? And we're like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, we should do that. Uh, and But we weren't sure which game that would be then. Yeah. And then, uh, like, the next brainstorm something or something, we were like, okay, yeah, it should totally be Hidden Folks by Annie and the Young. Because it's like a game where you search for like tiny, tiny folks that are hidden, and so you like cut trees, and <laughs> you you cut bushes, you uh, close waterfalls, and then you find folks uh, who, are who are hidden. Yeah, but um, and then and then so with the binoculars, it's really fun. It's like an added dimension. It's it's, it's not really the game. Yeah. It's like different from the game, but it's. I, I, I love how it makes the game almost impossible yeah. as well. Yeah, like, like the chair that you've got slightly too small, so you've got to hurry and reach up yeah. and get them down and constantly trying to refocus and then go, I don't know, where's the mouse now? <laughs> it's just like, but it really like adds to that feeling of going, where are these bloody folk that yeah. I find? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you, need, you need to have a super steady hand just to play it because, yeah, I, I heard that the elbow technique works. Oh, yeah. Or you just like launch on the table. I can and imagine. Then that seems to work well for some people. But like most people don't make it past level one, which is like <laughs> the easiest level. And then afterwards you get to like zoom and pan and yeah. it gets really difficult. It's like new game plus. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna play all my games through binoculars now on <laughs> to make them harder because I'm too good at games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so another interesting thing about the art expo is, as we're talking about hidden folks, is all the games by people who aren't you that are in the space. Yes. So there's like the Hidden Folks and uh, my brain has just gone like this, like the playful poster. Yeah, yeah, by Menno. Mm -hmm. Who's there? Yeah. Yeah, like I think that bringing in people who share mm. share themes and aesthetics and that, yeah. that playful nature is, is a really interesting thing. If you want to talk about that, maybe? Yeah, yeah. so in the Netherlands there are a lot of freelancers, like people who work alone um, at home. And I mean, that's fine, but sometimes you kind of miss the input of other people. Yeah. Uh, that's, so that's something we do at our, at, at our school. We sit not just with us, but with a lot of other people as well. And like a lot of freelancers and friends of, us, friends of ours um, come in and work at our place. And you get like this constant feedback and there's this, like this creative bubble that we created. Yeah. Yeah, so that's also something we wanted to put into the maze, I guess, because that's, yeah, it's a visualization of how we work. Yeah, yeah. I think it does capture a lot of what makes your work really exciting, that kind of playful, collaborative silliness. <laughs> it says silly. 
And you are these very silly boys. I mean, <laughs> the amount of squatting that's gone on in the past, two, like, two days. Never squatted so much in my life. Like, I'm going to have to go see... It's, like just, a, it's just the beginning. <laughs> so, yeah, that's quite an in-jokey thing I just did there. But these, these people and their friends seem to like squatting a lot. And so, like, last night on the dance... They, they'll show you. It's, it's part of their boy band thing, I think. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh... I'm, t- I'm 27, I'm a bit old for squatting. <laughs> Ooh, did that break the mic? No, the mic's fine. Yeah, so, you know, you just... Oh, sorry, you got flat foot as well. It's very good, you... yeah. This one time, there was someone who was like, oh, we need to take a group picture. And we, we were like, okay, so we squatted down. And the photographer was like, what the, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Why are you squatting? I mean, and we were like, why not? Yeah. It's a good look. That's also good for you. Yeah. Just all, all, I think all like kind of video game collectives should have pictures of them all squatting. Like next World Rumpus meet up, we're going to take a picture of all of us squatting. <laughs> First on the agenda list. <laughs> Screw like sorting out GDC in two weeks. Squatting photos. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes. Five minutes. We, let's keep the squat for five minutes. Are we going to squat for yeah, five yeah, minutes? Do some, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout outs. You want to do some <laughs> shout outs? Uh. Individually, yes. you want to do it? Why? No, you do it. <laughs> if you're not going to do shards, we could open it to the floor to see if they've got any questions. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that's. Has anyone got any questions for sock pop? It's person there, with their hands up. Sorry, I can't see you. I'm scoring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question. Obviously, your games are all quite PC and even. Uh huh. How much of your tools and the code you share between each other or do you think? Right. So, so uh, I need yeah. to repeat that yeah, for okay, the benefit of the recording. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how much? So you kind of have quite a cohesive style and aesthetic. Uh, how much of that is like shared code and assets and things? I think is what the question was. Um, it's mostly like a lot of knowledge things, like tricks that we use that we share between like programming tricks, also for the animations and stuff um, that we share between each other. Like if you find something out, um, and that really works well. Code sometimes, uh, but not really assets because like. We don't, yeah, we, yeah, well, sometimes we share sounds. Like, a, I'm, I know that in, in, I have like one sound effect that I think is in every sock pop game at this point. It's like your Wilhelm scream. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's like this footstep sound that, oh, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we share some things for sure. Yeah. Those footsteps. Sure. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to quickly no. repeat that before you jump in. Well, you've already answered it. The answer's no. But the question was, how did the release of the Bamboo EP go? Because part of it was testing the waters to see what your fan base was like in terms of translating your kind of Twitter clout into hard cash. Right, this is some really boring information. <laughs> but I looked it up. And I guess one percent, or like one or two percent of the people who went to the Steam page bought it. So that I don't know if that's interesting. I mean, I would have bought it, but you sent me a code. And so, like, I bought your game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know how this works. You read it. I'm gonna give me a chance. <laughs> no, you sent me the code, and then I sent you like a code back for Loot Rascals. Oh yeah. You were like, yeah. I already I bought copies it. of Loot Rascal. <laughs> <laughs> on March seventh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we we kind of expected it that it would it would go that way. Um, it was still really interesting. Yeah. So we're, we're just kind of like looking for like a crowd for our, that will buy our games, and also to make, and also like making games that are like that you really need to to play to get. Like most of our games are like, oh, it's a cool space where you can walk around in, and then that's it. But like we we gotta make something that's that's still interesting to play and not just to look at. Like that, like a game that that's not just that's way better as a game than as a GIF, you know. So, yeah. Uh, are there any more questions? Got time for one more. Ed Key has a question. <laughs> this kind of repeats something I've spoken to you before, but about one of my favorite things about the arcade is the in between the hidden folks' binoculars and the screen. There's like a slit in the oh, yeah. where people can walk through. And originally, I thought it was a an accidental pair, 
but it's actually it's kind of inviting people through. I just wonder if you could talk a bit more about that kind of design spirit behind that. So, I need to repeat that for the benefit of those watching this on YouTube. <laughs> hey, YouTube people. Uh, so, Ed uh, really enjoyed in the expo, in the Hidden Folks installation, because there's the binoc this yeah, with is the the binoculars. Game of the binoculars. It's like five meters. Yeah, or there's like a really big get distance with loads of ropes and things. But halfway through, there is a slit that people can walk into, which gets in the way of the binoculars and the screen. And when we first saw it, we were like, oh, people obviously torn a hole in their wall. What's going on? But then there's like a big question mark to like invite people in. Yeah. And I guess Ed wanted to know about that. That um, design. Okay, so I did that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other people said, like, why is there a tear and a question mark? Why did you do that? I was like, well, isn't it funny that they go like, whoo, a question mark. <laughs> and they go in. It's like, oh, a game. How cool. And then they look the other way. And there's someone standing with a binocular <laughs> staring at them. <laughs> and then they always go like, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> cool. I guess we've got to wrap up there. Yeah, I guess so. so. Thanks to Sock Pop. Yeah, Big thanks, round of applause for Sock Pop. <laughs> yeah. 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 I guess Hannah's going to come on and say things now. Yeah.